come to Grenada. Enjoy the sunshine, silver sand beaches and the tipping, tipping rain. One thing we discovered when we got to Grenada was that you can fly. Not only fly on a kite foil, but you can fly to see your grandchildren in less than six hours. So, off we went. And that was our last glimpse of the boat for ten days. That's us, just there. The white one. So what do we do? We leave the Caribbean to come to Canada. And it's freezing. Six hours after leaving, we're driving round some of the Canadian homesteads just to see what they do for Christmas. Quick ice cream with one of the Winkies and then back to Grenada for Christmas. Thank you. Well, Happy New Year everybody. Not sure where you might be. Scotland, South Africa, Canada. All pretty impressive around here. But we celebrated Scottish New Year four, four hours, hours ago. ago. But anyway, we're in Grenada and the plan for the coming year is up the island chain and then we're either going to go up through the Bahamas to Boston or we might just go through Bermuda, Nova Scotia and back down. Let's see what happens. This is the Grenada we know and love. Sunshine, rainbows and then roll in the next downpour. Prickly Bay in Grenada was the meeting place for assorted Outremer. The one in red behind there, Pimont Rouge, they won the Ark and I'm pleased to say that's helping resale values no end. Still we had to get round to the boatyard and on the way had a little tussle with this guy, cuffed him over the ground, hauled out the boat, got it all chalked up and then the work started. Worried Luke. And that's why. Oh, here she goes, being lifted and swinging in the wind. We were pretty clean when we came out, just had some bits worn away from excessive scrubbing. The props with their prop speed, they were as clean as new, uh, only, only really just had to do them, but they're done. But the main reason we pulled out was because we had passed our seven year time frame for replacing the diaphragms on the Volvo engines. No one said we should do it. But I'm glad we did, because ours were just on the verge of saying, got that sinking feeling. Okay, so it's Friday, day four of the haul out. Everything's been achieved. Sand the whole boat, prime the whole boat, and two coats of antifoil, plus the sail drives have been removed. When you're glad you hit the water again and you didn't have to phone Admiral Insurance. So here you go, this is Caribbean sailing. Upwind all the way. So it was good to get sailing again. Next stop, Karakou. That's the Ile de Ronde. Yesterday I met this Ocean Cruising Club couple, Peter and Sue, on a nice, quite sharp looking Halber Grassy. I was blabbing on about how we had cuffed one of their friends sailing over the water the other day, and then they turned up right behind us this morning, so the race has been on. Well, we got to meet them. 
So this is us laming at Off The Hook in Karikou. Lovely. Karikou is quite a change from Grenada. Grenada was all hustle, bustle, broken roads, cars driven like maniacs. And this kind of feels like finally we're in the Caribbean. Oh, sorry, missus. And out there is Sandy Isle, which we'll head over to in a day or two. Just for a wee look. And then in the distance is Union Island. And we might go and have a look at that as well. And some nice little Grenadian houses. Karakus get quite a different vibe from Grenada. A lot more relaxed. Same crap music, right enough. Who needs a lawnmower when you've got your own flock of goats? And this is Tyrrell Bay and its boatyard. And all it needs is a chairlift. Well, that was Tyrrell Bay. Well, at least for the moment, we have to go back and do the incredibly stupid check-in, check-out on every Caribbean island thing they've got going on and have had for the 25 years since we came here. So we go around the corner, park off Sandy Isle. I wonder why it's called Sandy Isle. And then we'll come back and check out this afternoon or Monday. Some pretty stones. Long time since we've been on a getaway holiday on the beach. And it's time now for us to get away. So we're heading north up to Union, Karikou, Beckway and St Lucia. Come back and see what happened. Probably not much exciting, but better than the telly.